Hello, bookworms. Welcome to the Weekend Readers Book Club. Thank you for joining us. In this episode, we are discussing the 369-page psychological fiction book. I guess you would call it. Psychologically would probably be the right word to call it. My Dark Vanessa, written by Kate Elizabeth Russell, which was released in 2020. Now, if you haven't read this book, word of warning, this is a very powerful and hard-hitting book. It takes bits and pieces of what happened in real life, like the Me Too movement, the Weinstein, while not named specifically, events surrounding it are mentioned in this book. This book is powerful, mesmerizing, thought-provoking, and just, it's a great conversation starter for anybody going through what this book is based about. So to give you a rundown of this book, this book is about a female named Vanessa who is early 30s in the year 2017. Now, This book takes you between Vanessa's current life and a time period when she was 15 years old. You see, when she was 15 years old and in high school, she had a relationship with her English teacher, who was 40-something. And throughout the time period between 15 to early 30s, this relationship has been off and on, over different periods throughout her life. It has came out that, potentially, he has taken advantage of other young ladies during his time at the school, after Vanessa had left, and it's her journey in relation to finding out what went on, what the truth is, but also her reflection of the relationship she had with the professor because she looks back on it in a positive light and not necessarily the negative connotation that one would have looking at the situation where a 40-something-year-old man is hooking up with a 15-year-old child. And in essence, that's what it is, a man and a child. But Vanessa's determined that her decisions as a 15-year-old were her decisions and her choices. But were they? This book takes you on a journey. And wow, I absolutely loved this book. It was just amazing, the in-depth. It's... I don't know how to explain it, but the easiest way to explain it is this would happen to people where people will feel that at a certain particular time that they are in control of everything they do in relation to relationships. And they have the power to say yes, no, maybe. There's no abuse. There's no, you know, no abuse be it on any level, emotional, physical, mental. But then, when you take a step back and you re-look at the situation, you then question, okay, was I actually in control or was I being manipulated to think that I was actually in control, but in all essence, I wasn't. This book is absolutely amazing. Like, I could not put this book down and as much as you know it draws the emphasis from the real world because this happened this was what me too the me too movement was was about this happens in real life where people are taking advantage of younger people and younger people think i'm in love but in essence what is love and are they actually really in love yeah this like this book goes <laughs> all over the show from everything from her recollection to her reassessing to her current relationship that she has with Jacob the teacher yes 
even after 17 years, they're still in contact. And it's it's just, it's a powerful book. And I would highly recommend to anybody wanting to read this book, if you've picked this up and read that back blurb that's on the cover, or seen the little snippets that are on, say, Book Depository or Amazon or Goodreads, and you're like, you're on the fence about it, pick it up and read it because this is amazing. Yeah, I came away after reading this book going, as bad as the fact that it does reflect true life in the sense of this shit happens every day. And I don't mean shit in a bad way. I mean, this stuff happens every day and it goes undetected. It's a powerful read to be able to put yourself in the position of somebody whom that is happening to and just to try and correlate what exactly they are going through as an individual. Man, Kate Elizabeth Russell, you have done this book wonders. Absolutely wonders. So that's everything, if you haven't guessed, what I liked about the book. What I didn't like about the book, absolutely nothing. I even enjoyed the ending. The way the book ended was just, it was because the inspiration is true life and a real situation, it is, the ending seems fitting on how one would end the story in real life. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say how it ends, but it just seems fitting to towards the whole story itself. So I wouldn't change a thing with this book. I would love to find interviews by the author Kate Elizabeth Russell or even just just sit down and pick her brain in relation to this book. Like because the subject matter's there. It's the Me Too movement, it's the, you know, everything that's going on in the real world, and it is somebody that's having an inappropriate relationship with a minor, but the minor feels that it it is correct to have that relationship, but were the pretenses of that relationship, you know, was the minor in control or not in control? So I would love to be able to just pick Kate Elizabeth Russell's brain in relation to where she got this material from, researched it, just the psychological aspect behind it by what the main character was doing. Because, man, this book took me on a journey. Now, would I have this book... Do I, do I really need to do this this episode? Would I have this book on my bookshelf? Absolutely. And I would highly recommend anybody that wants a decent psychological thriller... Well, not a thriller, a psychological book in relation to events or aspects of that Me Too movement and potentially trying to get behind the the thought of somebody who had an indecent relationship um, with an older man while they were in college, while they were a minor, and what they worked through at that time and afterwards. Go pick up this book. It's a great read. And as always, if you do wish to pick up this book, please check out our links in the bio description because we have linked this book on Amazon where you will be able to purchase this on any method you wish to read this, both paper and electronic. So, as one book closes, another one has to open. And it is now time for the next read. The Weekend Readers, The Next Read is brought to you by FontyTees.com. It's just fonts on tees and more. Visit today at FontyTees.com. We are going a bit light-hearted, a bit of comedy, a bit of fun for The Next Read. We have selected You Deserve Each Other by Sarah Hoggle. Now this book is night and day in comparison to My Dark Vanessa. This book, a little bit of comedy, some humour, and reading the back blurb, it seems like it's going to be a bit of fun to, to have a read, a bit of laugh, and we'll see where this book takes us. I'm excited. 
That has brought us to the end of our episode this week, where we discuss the awesome book that everyone should go out and read, My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. In addition, if you wish to play along at home, we are on YouTube and also Instagram. Our Instagram handle is Weekend Readers Book Club. On YouTube and Spotify, you will find this show. We are the Weekend Readers. From us to you, thank you for joining us. See you next episodes, and bookworms, happy reading. <laughs>